Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So, after what just felt like a very long time with literally nothing on Global, we finally got a new data download last night and we finally have some new content on the way which makes me happy. So, <laughs> let's jump right into it guys and do a full breakdown of what you can expect as a Global player over the next couple of weeks. So, first things first, the big news is the next Dokkan Fest that is confirmed for Global AGL Metal Cooler. And I'll say this right now, he is a fantastic unit, guys. Really, really good unit. Here's his TUR form, and his leader skill is Wicked Bloodline, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 170% across the board, or Extreme AGL Types Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 90%. So Wicked Bloodline is what used to be called most malevolent clan on JP. They just changed the name on global. Doesn't really matter, same thing. His super attack is immense damage and lowers enemies attack and defense. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, his animations, his supers, his transformation mechanic, they look amazing, man. They're top tier animations in this game. Some of the best, some might even say the best super attack animations we have so far. So uh, go check that out, we haven't seen it yet. And his passive is attack and defense plus 80%, plus an additional attack plus 10%, with each attack received up to 70%, recover 7% HP at the end of the turn on turns that he got hit, and also core appears or transforms when HP is 50% or below once only. So, very similar to the uh, AGL Tapion mechanic, when your HP drops below 50%, he'll transform once, you'll be uh, invincible for one or two turns, and you'll do a lot of damage, so that's cool. And his links are Big Bad Bosses, Strongest Clan in Space, Thirst for Conquest, Auto Regeneration, Fierce Battle, Nightmare, and transform. So overall, extremely good unit, very cool category, and I'll show you guys what the banner looks like in a second as well, and I expect that the JP banner will look pretty much exactly the same, if not very, very similar um, on Global as well. So there's the AGL Meta Cooler. Um, he'll also bring along with him this Tech Vegeta here, and another very solid, very uh, respectable unit right there. So he's a Tech Type Nuke Lead for his leader skill. His passive is Attack and Defense plus 100%. E plus 2 and an additional 20% attack when HP is 50%, sorry, when HP is 80% or below, and plus an additional key plus 2 and attack plus 50% when HP is 50% or below. Links, Golden Warrior, Prodigy, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Saiyan Pride, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, very good non Dokkan Fest unit he's bringing, and also this STR Piccolo here. Uh, let's see what he does. So, STR type, Nuke Lead, passive is Attack and Defense plus 100%, key plus 6, and additional Attack and Defense plus 30%. When facing two or more enemies so they're both good units to pull it's always nice to have these extra like non token fest exclusive new units just in case uh you know you get shafted and don't pull the main guy it's still like kind of nice to pull these other guys so the piccolo and uh tech vegeta are both really good and now we also have a bunch of other free to play units on the way um so these metal coolers are the sr ones from the cooler event and now they have awakenings for global and together they actually make a very useful free to play team now i'm not 100 percent sure how well they compare to the ginyu force team because i haven't actually been able to play with these guys personally but from what i've seen they make a very good team and they all are similar units but they kind of do like different things so i'll show you right now so here's the physical one and uh, of course the leader skill is all types key plus two HP, attack, and defense plus 30%. They're all the same leader skill across the board. His passive, though, is attack and defense plus 15% per Wicked Bloodline category ally on the team. So if you're running a full team of the free-to-play meta coolers, you're going to get that full 80% and recovers 15% of damage dealt as HP. So he's a bit of a healer. And then for the STR one, same leader skill, same mechanic here, but all allies attack and defense plus 15%. So he's a support. The int type here is uh recovers five percent hp at the start of the turn so a healer as well but in a different way than the physical one and the tech one is attacked enemies attack minus 20 percent for two turns so a debuffer and for this one all allies keep plus two when hp is 50 percent or above and last but not least we have this str one Leader skill is Wicked Bloodline Category Key plus 2, HP, Attack, Defense plus 30%, and his passive is Wicked Bloodline Category Allies Attack and Defense plus 25%, and Chance to Perform Critical plus 5%. So yeah, together they make a very, very good free-to-play team, and uh, it's going to be a long grind to get them to, you know, SA10, Rainbow, and all that stuff, but... We've been so dry on content on global lately that honestly it's really welcome so there's the meta coolers um we also have this cyclopean guard here 
Uh, he's also a free-to-play unit from the Metal Cooler uh, story event. His uh, leader skill is extreme AGL type, skill plus 2. HP attack defense plus 40%. Uh, super attack raises defense for one turn. Supreme damage and passive is all allies defense plus 50%. Reduces damage received by 40% for 7 turns from start of the turn. So honestly, a very good tank for a free-to-play unit. And uh, what else are we missing here? Oh, and on top here we have this 8-bit uh, Vegeta and 8-bit Goku who are uh, from the, I guess, um, April Fool's event. These guys are actually very good free-to-play units. They're actually very useful. So this guy, Vegeta, his leader skill is Vegeta's family category, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 44%, which is surprisingly solid for a free-to-play leader skill. His super attack causes supreme damage and raises defense for 4 turns. And his passive is defense plus 88% at the start of the turn and then attack plus 88% when performing a super attack. It's links, Saiyan warrior race, prodigies, Saiyan lineage, royal lineage, over 9,000 and prepared for battle. So like I said, really solid unit. And the Goku is the same thing, pretty much the same card except for Goku's family. Um, it's his leader skill and his super attack, supreme damage, raises attack for 4 turns and he gets attack plus 88% at the start of the turn and then defense plus 88% when performing a super. Same warrior race, all in the family, same lineage, in fighter, Kamehameha, prepare for battle. Like I said man, like really good units and we should be getting them uh, either at reset today or maybe at like, I, I don't really know exactly when we're gonna get them but very soon, very soon. now. We also got this awakening for the baseball Yamcha. I believe he didn't have an awakening before, so that's why he's on the schedule here. And uh, he's from that, you know, Universe 6 like baseball game event that we caught a while ago. And uh, he's still not good, but he's a cool unit to own, I guess, for collection purposes. Um, his passive <laughs> attack plus 5,000, but defense drops to zero when facing two or more enemies. So yeah, he's trash, but you know, fun, cool unit to have. So yeah, those are all the new units that got added to the global database as part of this data download. And uh, it's a good amount of content for the next little while. So I'm very happy about that as a global main. And let's move on now to the AGL Metal Cooler banner. At least this is what it looked like on JP. And like I said, I expect it to be very similar if not the exact same on global as well because a lot of these units i mean none of these units were recently featured on the transforming vegeta banner and uh i just don't really feel like they're going to change anything so if it remains the same it is a good banner not a crazy banner but a decent banner so we got the agile meta cooler of course he's the main prize tech vegeta we have the str piccolo we have this physical future trunks but do keep in mind that the Int Goku Black should be after this. And he pretty much leads a better version of future Gohan's category, so I wouldn't go too hard just for him. Um, we have the STR Jiren, who I personally am still missing, but at this point I'm over it. Like, I'm not gonna go into any banners just for him. If I end up pulling him by accident, that's fine, but I'm not chasing Jiren anymore, I'm over it. We have Fizz Final Form Cooler, who's still a fantastic unit as old as he is, and uh, he does do very well on AGL Metal Coolers category. And uh, of course, also the full power uh, Frieza, who's a beast after EZA, and he does also fit on Coolers category, which is why he's here. So that's the banner, guys, and like I said, it's really not a bad banner. Very solid, very respectable banner, just um, not amazing and with four year around the corner literally like less than three months away at this point for global um i would be very conservative with my stones i would say either skip this banner or if you're gonna summon if you want the cooler i don't blame you i would say do like two or three multis at most and then save the rest we are gonna get a lot of stones for four year but you know you always want more stones if you can right you never know how many stones you'll need to actually pull the unit you want so yeah save your stones i would say do a couple multis if you want to but it's a very much skippable banner if you ask me very much skippable okay so that's the banner right there and last but not least another uh, exciting thing is the eza beerus uh tech beerus eza that's pretty much confirmed as the next eza on global now from what i've heard his eza drops on global on april 10th but i'm not 100 percent sure right now either way though it never hurts to be prepared so Let's take a quick look at what he can do. His leader skill is tech types, E plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. This is post EZA, by the way. Super attack is immense damage and greatly lowers defense. Passive attack and defense plus 80% at the start of the turn. 
plus an additional 40% attack for 4 turns after receiving an attack. Rage when HP is 40% or below up to 2 times, used to be only 1 time. Link stay the same, category stay the same. Uh, let's move down here a bit. This is his rage mode, and his rage mode got a significant upgrade as well. So from 1 to 7 key, he uses power flick. Causes the supreme damage an enemy, used to be extreme damage. 8 to 11 key is cataclysmic orb, greatly raises attack for one turn, and causes supreme damage an enemy. And his 12 key is god of destruction's edict, he causes immense damage, and guarantee stuns the enemy. 100% chance to stun, right there. To fully awaken him, you'll need 15 of the bronze medals, 40 of the silver, 30 gold, and 30 rainbow, of course, from his own Extreme Z battle events. And that's all there really is to say about this Tech Beerus EZA. He is a freaking beast and it's extra exciting for people who have LR Beerus because they make fantastic partners and uh, that rotation is just going to do a ton of damage. So really exciting thing coming as well. Tech Beerus EZA along with, of course, uh, the Metal Cooler banner, the you know, Awakenings for the free to play Metal Coolers, uh, the Tech Piccolo or Tech Vegeta rather, SDR Piccolo, the April Fools cards who are both really solid, uh, Baseball Yamcha, and just a lot of content that we've really been, you know, starving for on Global. Because like I said, it's it's been so dead recently, man. Any content is welcome, and I'm honestly excited for this stuff. By the way, let me know in the comments down below what part of this data download, what part of this release you're the most excited for, whether it's the AGL Meta Cooler, or the Free to Play Coolers, or the April Fool's cards. I think it's all awesome. I'm just excited we're finally getting some content, and that's all that really matters to me. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found it useful in some way. And as always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. If you're on the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I gotta say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.